Okay, so this tutorial is going to explain how to save and then how to uh, create a final version of your project. Now, Pixlr usually saves your work between sessions, but it is possible, depending on your device, that it isn't going to save what you've done so far. The way to save your progress is going to be to, um, while working on it with, with the uh, project in question open, you will go up to File and you will go to Save. And when you do this, you'll name your file And then you're going to want to choose PXZ. This is Pixlr's specific format that allows them to know what kind of image you have and all of the information in it. If you download this and then reopen it in Pixlr, it will open with all of your layers intact and still editable. So if I drag this back up here and I open it, I can see that my image is there, all of my layers are there, they're ready to go. Now this is important because if I were to save this as say a JPEG or a PNG, which we'll talk about in a little bit, if I download this as a PNG and then I reopen that image as a new image, right? If I open this up as a PNG, there's only one layer here. I can now no longer change those two layers that I was editing of the pond and the city. Those are now merged into one image that I cannot uh, separate now without a lot of work, okay? That's why as you're working on your rough drafts, you always want to be saving them as a PXZ. That will allow you to continue working next time. So when you're working on a rough draft and you're done working for a little bit, Download it as a PXZ and then email that to yourself or send that to your Google Drive. By doing so, you're saving that progress. You'll be able to download that file and put it back in Pixlr later to continue working. When you're all done and you're ready to turn in your final draft of whatever assignment you're working on, you go up to File, you go to Save, and that is when you're going to want to choose a PNG. JPEG will save, but will usually be a smaller file, and I trust PNGs more in general. Other than that, you want to keep things the same. You want to leave this where it is. And if you do want to upload it as or download it as a JPEG, I would just leave it on high quality, leave these settings right where they are. They're fine. Once you download that, it'll pop up down here, and you will then be able to uh, access that to turn that in, upload that to Google Classroom. That image is going to be enough for you to just upload to Google, image, uh, to Google Classroom, and then I'll be able to see it.